When you go to the bathroom on earth, you're relying on gravity pretty, pretty heavily. Imagine if you were halfway done and there were, somebody shut off gravity, it would be a mess. And you'd float off the toilet. So, so when, we, when we designed our space toilet, first it has to have a seat belt on it to hold you down. And then we decided to separate solids and liquids because they're easier to store that way. So we just have a tube that you pee into and it has air pulled into the tube. So it's not a big deal. For the women, there's a cup fits up against them. For the guys, it's just like a little funnel. You just pee into this tube and it goes into a, into a sewage tank. But the solids that come out of your body, that's a harder problem to solve. And it's an important medical one because on Earth, everything falls on the floor. But in space, it's going to float around. So, so it, it'll really make you sick. If you re-ingest something that came out of your body, it will really make you sick. And we can't afford to get that sick. So we designed a toilet that instead of gravity pulling everything into the toilet, it has air flow. There's air pulled down into the toilet. Sort of windy when you're sitting there, but it pulls everything out of your body. Everything that comes out of your body gets pulled down into the toilet by the air. And then in the storage tank, we just expose that to the vacuum of space. So it basically just freeze dries everything. So it kills all the bacteria so that there's no smell. And then that, that, we just store it. And then when you have a whole bunch of it stored, we put it in a little unmanned supply ship and we undock it and it burns up in the atmosphere. So the next time you see a beautiful shooting star going across the sky, <laughs> that's what it might be.